Hi, Kay. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Doing very well. Good to see you. It's good seeing you too in person. <laughs> nice. How are things in your neighborhood? Um, they're pretty good. It's a nice here. It's a beautiful day. Great. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to join us. Yeah, we really do. Thanks very much. Oh, you're so welcome. I enjoy telling people about fasting. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, yeah. let's let's start off with a classic question, which is, when did your weight become an issue for you? My weight has been an issue for me since I was in junior high school. I have fought it, counting calories, I've counted carbs, I've ridden bikes, I've walked miles and miles and mm -hmm. miles, I've been on Weight Watchers like four times I've wasted my money with Weight Watchers. I've tried uh, doing it on my own, trying to cut back, doing this, doing that, and it just... I lose weight. I do really good to start with, and I'm because I'm so dedicated. I'm going to do it this time. Mm -hmm. And regardless of how good I do, it always seemed to just creep back up, and poof, it was back. And like, what's the point of continuing on if everything I'm doing is I just keep returning back to the same overweight? Mm -hmm. Uh, I had reached 203 pounds several years ago, mm -hmm. and went to a doctor. And he put me on low carb and I go, he said, you need the nurse to tell you about low carb. And I said, <laughs> no, I know I've been there. So I was kind of frustrated because, you know, I did low carb. And once again, I'd lost oh, about roughly 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. And when I discovered fasting, um, I had gained most of that back. So I was pretty close to roughly 203 pounds once again when was before that? I started fasting. Christmas 2015 okay. is when I was at my lowest point. And um, I think we figured out the other night that I had started, because it's been, be, this August will be four years that I've been doing Fast Five. When I first discovered fasting, it was with Dr. Jason Fung on Diet Doctor's website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just went, oh, you can't do that. That's just, that's just silly. Nobody can lose weight that easily. <laughs> and I just went on and continued my low carb. I kept thinking about it and I kept seeing little bits of things about fasting on the internet. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, let me just go back and re and watch, rewatch those videos. And I said, okay, this sounds like it might be viable. So that's when I started doing a lot of online research about who's fasting, is it working, what groups are out there. And that's when I found y'all. Wow. Well. I read the book and I thought, well, this is not so difficult. I can do this. I just have to make some adjustments. No mid-morning snack. I never mm -hmm. ate breakfast. Mm -hmm. But I just, put, I just quit the mid-morning snack and instead of eating – and it was late, so I had a late lunch. Mm -hmm. So instead of eating my lunch at 1.30 or 2 o'clock, I pushed it back to 3. And then when I got home, I cooked dinner, and ate, and my husband and I ate dinner together. And then at 8 o'clock, I closed it. So 3 to 8 mm -hmm. was my window and has been my window for almost four years now. And so the, I've lost a lot of weight. and But actually, I've gotten thinner. When I lost weight before, I'm smaller now with less amount of weight loss than I was when I actually just lost weight with the calories. Interesting. So, interesting. yeah, that is interesting. How far into the, the fast five schedule were you? How, how long had you been doing it when you really got the sense that it was working for you? I had been doing it uh, a couple of months and my husband has the total gym and I work out with it every now and then a little bit, a couple, three days a week. I was working out and he walked past to go in the bathroom and then came back out again past me. And he said, whatever it is you're doing, it's working. Aww. I said, what do you mean? He said, you look smaller. And I said, really? I said, well, I've only lost, a, you know, 10, five pounds. Mm -hmm. And I got up and, and got my tape measure because I measured when I started and I had lost two inches in my waist. And only five pounds. You, you know, Kay, um, you said you did a bunch of different diets and then you, heard, you know, you read, uh, or I guess you li listened to videos and heard about intermittent fasting and then you did some research and decided to do fast five. But what, what was it that prompted you to consider it, to think it would be any different than any other thing you had done in the past? I went to your website and then there were people there like, Paula and, and Angela that, mm -hmm. you know, you're just like, they were 
so helpful on your Facebook page about talking about what they're doing and mm -hmm. how they've done. And Angela has just been, you know, she's done a marathon mm -hmm. as far as doing it and sticking with it for so long. I think this was her 12th year. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. That she's been doing the fa intermittent fasting. So it was, it was seeing that somebody else had done it and it worked for them that, that gave you the leap of faith or, or what? It was more like people shock that it was working oh. and people's people who've been done it, doing it for a while, their joy there. Oh. It was like, I'm free. I eat what I want. I'm not hungry anymore during the day. Cause I was starving all the time when I was dieting. Oh. That's why it was so hard. Uh -huh. And she, they said, you're not, I'm just not hungry anymore. And I, when I eat, I don't eat nearly as much food as I used to. And, um, and since I was doing the low carb before, I think that made it easier mm -hmm. because I would, had already cut out a lot of carbs and sugar mm -hmm. out of my diet. So it made it easier to fast. A lot of people are, are going to sugar shock mm -hmm. when they first start fasting or first start you know doing low carb because they're so addicted to carbs and sugar. Mm -hmm. But since I had cut it out for a year and a half, I just kind of naturally went into the fasting and I'm like, this, this can't be this easy. <laughs> it can't be this easy. And I kept telling myself that and at the six month point, my husband and I were riding a bicycle in the neighborhood. I would have been three years before, a couple of years before that, I would have been not been able to ride the length of time that we ride. It just dawned on me. I'm free. Wow. I'm free of food. I'm free. I don't, I don't count carbs anymore. I don't count points anymore. I don't count pounds. I don't count because my weight goes up and down, give or take six or five or six pounds mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I don't weigh maybe once a month and it might be 165 or it might be 167 or it might be 160. I just, it's just kind of not in my mind to just have to jump on that scale all the time anymore. So nice. I didn't know it was just so freeing. And I told my husband, I said, I have never felt, I have in my adult life, never felt this free from a food addiction, from being feeling hungry or feeling like I have a guilt, the guilt that you have when you eat, oh, when you're, mm -hmm. and you eat something that's a no, no. I said, I don't have guilt anymore. If I want to have a slice of pizza, mm -hmm. I eat a slice of pizza. You know, I try, I try to eat less processed foods just for good health, mm -hmm. but occasionally I will. And my husband and I are big into the craft beer. So mm -hmm. we have with, uh, usually a beer with dinner nice. and on low carb, no beer. You can't have beer. You're right. So that's a so, real, that's right. Know, so you have to really cut something out for that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I mean, and I see online all these diets like vegan and keto. And I'm like, any diet that you have to cut out a whole food group yeah. mm -hmm. is not for me. I said, I want to be able to eat a little meat. And eat some vegetables, eat some fruit, and eat some carbs. I don't want to have to just give up everything. Sure. I just eat a little bit of everything. And I think that's healthier. I, these these fatty diets where if you eat this and you eat that, I just I just think it's a trap because then you are dealing with guilt again. There you're back circled back around to oh I wasn't supposed to have that cookie mm. or you know the Girl Scout cookies are being on sale right now right and. Um, if I want a Girl Scout cookie, my husband and I'll buy a box and we'll divide that box up over a couple of nights and share it. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm good with that. If I had bought a box of Girl Scout cookies and ate a couple when I was dieting, I said, well, I've messed up now. And I would just eat the whole box in one sitting. Wow. Wow. So, and I don't have that, that desire to do that anymore. And last night I picked up a pizza for supper. When I was there, somebody canceled an order and the girl said, uh, here's your pizza. Here's another pizza. And here's a box of the Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. Oh, dear. And I said, OK. She said, those are free. The top, the other two. And I said, OK. My husband and I each ate one of these little Cinnabon things that are about this big. And we both got sick and we had to throw them in the garbage because they were just I couldn't stand them. They were just too sweet. Wow. We, threw, we threw away the box. I'm just not used to that anymore. But I don't crave it anymore either. So that's been a big change. And, and it sounds like, I mean, the theme I'm hearing is sustainability. How long do you plan on, on living this lifestyle? Forever, yeah. ever. I won't ever not eat this way. I won't ever live this. My husband has started doing this and 
he has always supported me in whatever diet or, or plan or exercise or whatever I was doing. He mm -hmm. has always supported me because he knows my health's important. But um, it's been three and a half years and two months ago, all of a sudden he quit eating breakfast. Mm -hmm. I noticed him the other day working out on his total gym. I said, you know, you were starting to get just a little soft. <laughs> uh, he's not overweight. He's not overweight, but you know, all his cut muscles and, and stuff. Cause he's, he turned 60 this month. And I said, you know, you've, I see in more definition than I've been seeing in the last couple of years. And he's lost about five pounds. Uh -huh. We're the same height. We weigh almost the same size shoe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's just a half size bigger than me. So cool. I wear a men's nine and a half in a shoe. I wear a women's 11. So 165 pounds for me is not heavy. <laughs> right. Well, when, and you five, know, when you're five, eight and wear a size 11 shoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, my dad used to say that's a great foundation. I have large feet myself. So <laughs> my, my daddy used to say it's a good understanding. That, he said that too. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. So once you got started with fast five, how long did it take you to lose the weight that you wanted to, to lose? Um, it, uh, to get down to where I wanted to be was about eight months. It took, it, it was fast to start. I mean, not like fast, but it came off fairly easily to start with. And those last 10 pounds just kind of dragged on, but mm -hmm. about eight, eight months to get to the, to the weight that I am now. Mm -hmm. And, but I continued to continued on and even I'm 64 be 66 in October and yeah. my skin doesn't snap back like it did when <laughs> I was 30 but mm -hmm. um I'm I kept getting a little smaller even though the weight kind of stabilized mm -hmm. I seemed to firm up a little bit I seemed to, to be a get continue to get a little bit smaller close fit a little bit looser mm -hmm. not a great amount but I could tell that um I wasn't as soft like my husband you know the longer i've done it and it's so easy now if i'm doing the math right you lost like 35 40 pounds ish is that about right um yeah about about 40 pounds about 40 pounds that's what i've lost nice and Never that has stayed and off it, 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 it fluctuates by way this morning just so in case you ask me oh good for you <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know i check every about once a month i kind of just check to make sure that i'm still hanging in there and within sure. five pounds usually. And that's the way it's been for two and a half years. Wow. So it's just, just stayed. So you've sustained that for two and a half years and you're not, you're not having to deny yourself particular foods. No, I don't deny anything. That's great. Good and for you. You touched on this earlier, but are you feeling hungry during the day during your fasting period? No. Every now and then my stomach will growl, but usually if I get a glass of water mm -hmm. or a cup of coffee during the morning, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's, it's my stomach is just growling. It's not like I really feel hungry, but used to I associated growly stomach with hunger. But now it growls and I'm, I think, am I hungry? No. So. Good for you. I don't really feel a need. And the other day I was at work and we got busy and I was doing some paperwork and then I went, oh, I forgot to go to the bank. And I jumped up and went to the bank and came back and it was almost 4.15. And I opened my window at three and I, it hadn't even dawned on me that I hadn't eaten. Mm -hmm. Good for you. <laughs> I just, you know, and I said, I'm not going to eat this late. I'll just eat supper. So you're not hungry. When you, when you are eating, when you're in your eating window, do you, does your appetite work right? Have you achieved appetite correction? Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I said, there's a few times that they were, I left a, some on my plate. When we go to eat seafood and it's a really good meal, mm -hmm. if it's just my cooking it here at home, you know, and there's, and I'm not hungry, I just stop. I put it in the garbage. But if we're out and I, and it's expensive to eat out and it's sure. good seafood, I said, okay, I'm starting to get full. I'm not eating the rest of that coleslaw. I'm with that last shrimp. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Good for you. <laughs> but, but I still, I, I leave food on my plate now when I go out and I don't take it home with me. If it's, you know, because you fast, when you do eat, you want, you want your meal to be enjoyable. You right. want to go and you want peace and quiet. You want to sit down and you want to eat your meal and you want it to be good. Nothing makes me madder than have fasted a 24 hour fast and break my fast and the food's not good. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be good. <laughs> 
So besides the fast drive schedule, are there any other things that you do to help keep your appetite correction in place? In the beginning, I tried to stay busy, you mm -hmm. know, because it's your it's a habit. Sure. But mm -hmm. but about six months in, it had started becoming a habit. And so I didn't have to use all these little extra things like playing a video game on my phone or, or going for a walk <laughs> or, 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 you know, uh, at work, I'll have little projects that I need to get done and go do a project because I'm starting to feel hungry. Great. Good for you. Uh, you and I talked about this um, a couple of days ago, but, and I don't remember if you had said that your weight loss and your dietary lifestyle, how I, I think you mentioned that it really hasn't affected your relationships with yourself or others much, but then you said maybe a little bit. I don't remember. A little bit. You know, I see it all the time in the fasting groups where it says, you know, not to say anything, you mm -hmm. know, like the, the, the fast club, you know, you don't, don't talk about the fast club. Don't tell anybody that you're fasting. I'm just, I, I'm, it's not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell people everything. So, um, I would go to, I'm um, in, in the, uh, um, Daughters of the American Revolution, and I'm in the Daughters of 1812. It's, you know, uh, um, a genealogical organization, historic or organizations, and we have luncheons, and my window is at three. And once I got comfortable, I would eat. I would say, okay, today is a luncheon, and I'm not going to freak these ladies out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat my salad, and I might forego the dessert. They asked me, they said, how did you lose that weight? How have you kept your weight off? And at first, when I told them, it was like I had told them that I was a leper. No. And I'm like, well, I said, y'all are so funny. And they thought I was crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, years later, down the line, now they're asking me what I'm doing. And mm -hmm. I said, but I told you, I fast. I don't eat till three in the afternoon. And then I eat dinner around 6.30 and seven o'clock. And that's the way I eat. Oh, and I was telling you, Judy, you know, we went to Apalachicola and we're sitting in the little brew pub there. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of open air. And we were sitting at the bench, a little table and bench. And another couple came in and sat down. And I sat down with Mike with my beer and popcorn. And I said, this is some way to break your fast, a beer and popcorn. And the girl sitting next to me, she said, what did you say? <laughs> I, said, I said, I'm breaking my fast. I do intermittent fasting with beer and popcorn. I said, I don't usually break it with beer, but this is a special occasion. And she goes, really? She said, what do you do? And I told her, and she said, well, we're doing 18-6. Uh, and she said, we've been doing it for four months. And my husband, she said, I've lost five pounds, but she wasn't very big. But she said her husband was large. And he said, he'd lost 17 pounds nice. in four months. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, and I did not realize how easy it was. And I'm cool. like, what's the, what's the odds five years ago, sitting down next to somebody doing intermittent fasting? Pretty Not uncommon much. five yeah. years ago. Things and have changed a lot. 15 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. 15 years ago, it was almost nobody. Yeah. It's no, nobody. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had known about this 20 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, right after I had my children when I was so heavy and we had such a struggle trying to get my weight back down mm -hmm. after I'd had my girls. So, and this with women too. That's a that's a, a kicker because we're dealing with with serious hormone fluctuations in our life, from puberty to childbirth, and then you know premenopause and menopause and postmenopause. You get and it, it okay. just, and it just keeps changing. Mm -hmm. I, I used to say to patients, every decade brings a new present. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it does. It does. And so there are phases of life and um, the hormonal flux that goes with those. Yeah. Pretty interesting. I was pre-diabetic back when I was 203 pounds. Mm -hmm. And that was the reason I went on the low carb was to try to get my, my blood sugar straightened out. Mm -hmm. I was a little better, but not a lot until I started fasting. And last checkup, nothing. They didn't say, say you're perfectly healthy. Do you they take medication? my vitamin D, and huh? I'm like, I live outside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, I, I even when it's cold, I'll go out in my shirt sleeves and face and just do the sun thing outside. 
because I love being outside so much. And I'm just like, and he, and they, he said, Oh, no, you're fine. Everything he is fine. I said, we just, cause you're over 60, we have to check it. So do you take medications? No. Great. I take a, a, a multivitamin just as kind of uh, insurance. <laughs> yeah. Kind of insurance in case my diet, you know, what I've been eating. I try to go towards things that my body seems to be craving. Mm -hmm. You know, here lately it seems to be beans and grains. Nice. You know, so sometimes it's meat sometimes, you know, so I try to go what I'm, what I really crave when I'm hungry. I mm -hmm. try to go that direction. I take that and I take um, a cranberry and something supplement because I have a, a history of occasional urinary tract issues. Mm -hmm. So I take that and I take um, the multivitamin and a, and a probiotic. Well, that's great. great. We sometimes talk about uh, replacing a goal weight on the scale with a goal body, which can be anything from the way it looks to the way what you can do with a goal body. For you, what what do you find to be your your goal body? Can you tell us about it? My goal body is to be able to buy clothes in the women's department that mm -hmm. I don't have to go to the to the large. I wear misses sizes now. I can wear mediums and larges. Where before it was extra large and extra extra large, mm -hmm. especially in tops because I'm big chested. But mm -hmm. um, not so much now. <laughs> And another thing is um, my goal body is to be able to be outside, to hike, to work in my yard, to push a lawnmower, to ride a bicycle. My husband and I are big hikers. We love to beach hike. Mm -hmm. We love to hike in the woods. And near our house that we just built is a national forest, uh, Tate's Hill. And they have lots of hiking trails that we and through pine woods and to, from one part of the water to another part of the water. There's a big uh, state park, St. George Island, that we usually do a um, uh, 10 mile loop. Nice. Mm -hmm. Where we'll walk out to the end of the island from the last parking lot and then back to the parking lot. And that's 10 miles in the nice. full up summertime. So it's and so I could never have done that when I was heavy. And so it sounds like this, this body, your goal body, is one that lets you do these activities that you want to do as well. Oh, as yeah. I got out and, and, and pruned a blue spruce tree in my backyard this weekend with the with with my lop and shears and hand shears, bypass shears, and drug all those limbs to the back and threw them over the fence and stacked them up in our rubbish pile in the far back. All by myself and my husband mowed the yard. That's great. We're you liking that. Yeah, totally embrace the notion of a goal body because you know, you said you have this range of weights. They're all fine. Those weights don't govern what you do. As long as your goal body does what it, it does, yeah. serves you well. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Lovely. Yeah. As long as I can hang with my husband and we go, can go anywhere we want to go and do whatever we want to do. Um, and my grandchildren is like, Mima, will you please sit down? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that the scale doesn't rule your life. You know, that it doesn't, um, it doesn't change things for you. It goes up a pound, goes down a pound. You have this range that you live in, and then you have the freedom to just live your life with the kind of, I mean, I, I hear joy coming from you, and I just love it. <laughs> it is. Um, used to the scale ruled my life. I could be dieting, 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 and think I did so great. And I would get on that scale every morning and I'd gain five pounds. It, it, it would just crush my soul because I had worked so hard and expected to get on that scale and have and lost, you know, a mm -hmm. couple of days before I had lost a couple of pounds. And then I get on and think maybe I'd lost another couple of pounds. And no, I gone gained back what I thought I'd lost, but mostly it's water, but they didn't sure. tell you all that back then. You just saw a number. This has been, y'all have been a lifesaver for me. I mean, it's like I've got my life back. I feel better and younger and more energetic than I did when I was 40. Good for you. And so that's, you know, that's quite a, quite a statement for a lot of people. Good for you. My blood pressure is normal. My, my heart rate is normal. Um, I have friends that are type two diabetic who take a handful of medicine, you know, because they have got all these other 
things that come along with type two. Mm-hmm. My, my dad passed away. He had type two diabetes and a heart condition, high blood pressure. And uh, he, because of years of smoking, he had COPD. So I didn't want to go that route. Sure. Yeah. Well, good for you. We are so happy for you. And we very much appreciate you sharing this because, you know, what you, you told us, the, the thing that kind of tipped you over to trusting that this might be a solution was knowing that it was a solution for somebody else that you could relate to. And, and seeing it on a video. Right. So pass it on. Yes. I made a few videos. I, said, I also have a, um, I'm an admin for a fasting group, uh-huh. Fast Club. Mm-hmm. Um, motivation and support. So, I notice there's a lot of people that do the uh, alternate day. Mm-hmm. I could ne- never do alternate day. Yeah. I could. I know they've had some really great results with their alternate day, but I needed to get into a habit to be able to maintain it long term. Mm-hmm. And trying to remember whether it's a eat day or a fast day, mm-hmm. and my stomach getting food one day and not getting food the next day it's kind of hard, hard to make you be in a habit. To me. It, is. it seemed, would seem like to me it wouldn't work. Right. It's right. interesting. And yeah, for you, it wouldn't, I have to say for me, it would not either. But for the people for whom it works, it's just lovely. That's what's one of the most wonderful things about doing one's own study of one is finding the fit. You know, starting out, what we've discovered is that the, the simple tool of fast five, eating within five consecutive hours, has been the sweet spot for a lot of people. But what's lovely about the study of one is that for those for whom it's not quite the sweet spot, it's a great starting place. Well, thank you very, very much. We really appreciate your time and your energy and your enthusiasm and your work. Yeah, definitely. I continue on. I have a personal Facebook page that has links to everything that I do and follow and that I, I recommend. And so if somebody says, what do you do? I just give them one of my cards and I say, my resume is on there too. But I said, the first thing is the fasting links and my little story. And then some of my art is also on there. Great. Great. Wonderful. Yeah. You'll have to send us that link. Here's my card. Perfect. (laughs) Makes it easy. All right. Well, I've enjoyed it. Likewise. I'm so glad to meet you. I've seen, watched y'all on videos so many times over and over, Mm -hmm. especially in the beginning just over and over and over and shared them thousands of times. Well, we appreciate that. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. You take care. All right. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.